Hey guys, it's Ainsy here and today I'm going to be showing you how to level up as quickly as possible on Fishing Simulator. So before we get started, don't forget to join my Roblox group, the link will be in the description down below as well as my other social links as well. Some of the things to help you get more XP are in Finn's Supply Shop. Now if you're just starting out then you won't be able to fully upgrade anything yet, but try and upgrade your fishing rod as much as you can because that way you'll be able to collect fish much quicker hence you'll be able to collect XP quicker. Now that's the same for the spears so if you're wanting to collect XP quickly by hunting sea creatures then you may want to try and upgrade your spear as much as you can as well and it would help if you had maybe a backpack with at least a decent amount of space so that you don't have to keep coming back and forth. And on the fishing rod, the higher this rarity here, the higher the chance that you'll get a better fish. So you may get more mythics and more legendaries, and the better the fish, the more XP you get for collecting it. So another thing is if you head over to the special items, and we'll just have a look at these here. So if you want to fish and get more XP, then the Fishmaster 2.0 will be really helpful as this shows where there's hot spots of better rarity fish. And as I said before, the higher the rarity the fish, the more XP you get for it. And that's the same with the creature locator. It points to the nearest sea creature, so it doesn't show you the hot spots, but it has an arrow and it points to the direction of the closest sea creature. So I can show you that because I have that one. So the closest sea creature is in this direction and that's really helpful if you want to gain XP by killing sea creatures. So another thing that would be really helpful is if you go over to these chests over here. Now I tend to open this silver chest and if you open a bunch of these you're more likely going to get a better rod. So obviously if you're starting out you're not going to be able to get the best rod straight away. Well, I mean you might, but it's very unlikely. But just try and get a good fishing rod. So as you can see I have the crystal rod and I'm, I've been trying to get the new blossom rod because that's leaving at the th on the 31st of July but I'm not sure I'll be able to get it. But the better the rod you have, the better perks come with it. So let's just see this skin here. So this is the crystal rod which is mythic. The boosts that this gives us are 15% more hook speed, 5% more rarity chance, 25% more reeling speed and 5% more strength. So as you can see we're more likely going to get better fish and we'll be able to collect them quicker. So that's similar with Patricia's pets as well. If we head into this store and go over to the eggs, I would recommend if you don't have many gems I'd recommend buying the royal egg because you have the chance to get the mythics and the better the pet obviously the better the boosts and as you can see I have a mythic monkey and this gives us 6% hook speed, 6% bait size, 6% rarity chance and 6% mutation so again adding that with the fishing rod really boosts your chance of getting a high rarity fish which means you'll get more XP. Another thing that is really helpful to get more XP is if you head over to the boat shop and talk to Deckard and trying to get a boat that upgrades the rarity chance. So as you can see here, the yacht's boost is rarity chance and I have maxed that level using gems. So it means I have 10% more chance of getting higher rarity fish, which means we'll get more XP. Now, when we're out on our boat, one of the tips that I would give is anywhere you're traveling, so if you want to collect just sea creatures, I would still recommend doing this. Just no matter where you want to go, say I want to go over here, always catch fish. So any second you have, catch fish. It doesn't really matter what it is, although we would prefer it to be a mythic fish because you get more XP. But with the boats boost, your fishing rod boost and the pet boost, you're more likely to get better fish anyway even though I've just got three Napoleons. <laughs> so there we go, I've got a legendary fish. But anywhere you're going, whether that's collecting a ship that has sunk, on your way to that, always collect fish. And oh, there's some orcas here, let's just... 
use our spear on these. And by killing sea creatures, you get XP every time you hit them. So as you can see, every shot I do, I'm getting 100 XP. And then on the final one, I think you just get 50. So, as you can see, I've just killed those. And then I've got my fishing rod back out straight away, ready to fish again. Because you don't want to miss any opportunity when fishing. Now, when you're attacking the sea creatures... I would try and recommend keeping them all in a bunch behind you so that that way they don't lose interest in your boat and swim away so then you get all of the XP from all of the sea creatures and we can always go back and collect their drops afterwards. Like that, I went too far and it lost interest, there we go. So now I'll just collect all of our little drops and then we can go and sell these later as well. And I got a baby killer whale egg as well. So I'm going to put that in my aquarium. So let's see if I've got anything else that's good. No, I can sell all of that. And as we're travelling back, I'll just grab some fish as well. And the first thing I got was a mythic sunfish. So the final thing that I'm going to do is just put this egg in my aquarium. So for anyone that's interested, this is what my aquarium looks like. So on the left I have all of these neon fish. And on the right I have only legendary and mythic fish. And then we go through the tunnel and this is where I put my eggs. So at the moment I have two sharks. And then if I just pop this one in here. I now have a killer whale as well and then when we head to the back I've got this tank which is just going to be full of blue neons because blue is one of my favourite colours and on this side I want just pink neons and then at the back here I have all of my mini fish, baby fish sorry. So I'm going to put all of my mythic and legendary baby fish. I think in one of the upcoming updates there's going to be now four tiers to the aquarium so at the moment there's only three and we're also going to get another pet update which means that we can level them up which probably will help us get more XP as well and a couple of other things as well. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and turn on my post notifications so you never miss an upload again and don't forget to check out some of my social links in the description down below as well and I will see you in the next video bye